안녕하세요. 어, 대한신장학회 이사장 박형천입니다. 어, 오늘 이제 3일차 학술대회를 진행하고 있고요. 오늘 오전에 호주의 모나시 대학의 그 멀린 토마스 교수님이 이제 세틀라이트 심포지엄에서 이제 강의를 해주셨는데 강의를 방금 마치신 상태에서 내려오셔서 저희가 저희 그 유튜브 방송에 모시고 어, KSN을 얼마나 잘 즐기고 계시는지 그리고 새로운 약재들에 대한 소개를 잠깐 해주시겠습니다. I would like to welcome you to the KSN and thank you for joining us. And how are you enjoying our KSN 2025 Congress? Well, thank you. It's, it's been a real pleasure to be back in your country. I've been here a number of times discussing the opportunity value for improving CKD care, but, but now to see it really coming through where practitioners are going, not whether or not they're going to use therapy, but actually trying to use it more and more often, almost in all of their patients. So it's a really exciting time with new therapeutics, new ideas, new opportunities coming true, through to make a change to the lives of patients with CKD. I really like the uh, analogy for the traffic light, comparing it to the KDGO heat maps for DKD patient risk factors. And I think it's a very good way of uh, explaining to our patients. Maybe you could kind of elaborate more about the uh, uh, role of the empagliflozin, one of the major uh, SGL2 inhibitors in the market, how they will provide benefit for our CKD, DKD patients. Yes, it's really exciting to think that you know, I've been looking at the KDGO heat map for some time, so which has been provided to stratify the risk of patients with CKD in terms of whether they're going to develop kidney failure as well as heart disease or heart failure or cardiac mortality. It went from the green zone on the top where patients had no albuminuria and no EGFR to through to orange and red where you are at high or very high risk of developing renal failure. And understanding that, I suddenly realized, well, gosh, it's actually a traffic light, just like you would have in downtown Seoul. Whereas you see a green light, green light means not do nothing. It means monitor closely because there's an intersection coming up in your life between your diabetes and your kidney disease or your heart disease and kidney disease. And you need to monitor because the lights could change. To mitigate that risk but clearly when you see a, a yellow light or an orange light then it's the time to slow progression not wait for the red light imagine what would happen in Seoul if you got rid of all the orange lights mm. there'd be lots of accidents right that's what kidney failure is an accident that could be prevented by putting your foot on the brake early and what's been remarkable has been the the rise of drugs like SGLT2 inhibitors which just like a brake in your car slow the progression um, of kidney disease to make it less likely you end up in that renal failure intersection um, in your life and by slowing progression I mean you know the rate of decline in kidney function is slowed, for example, in the recent EMPA kidney trial in patients with diabetes um, by over 60%. So imagine you've got someone, let's say, with kidney disease and their rate of decline in kidney function, they'll end up in dialysis maybe in 15 years. Slowing them down by more than 50% or nearly 60% in those with diabetes means that instead of 15 years, it's going to be 30 or 40 years that they develop it. In other words, never. So the real opportunity in places like Korea where, you know, kidney disease is actually the most costly single item um, per patient um, um, on overall and, and in the future is going to be even more of a problem. The best way to manage CKD is to prevent it early. Like the best way to prevent an accident is to put yeah. your foot on the brakes as soon as you see the light change, not to speed up but to slow down early. And that's really what the new trials with SGLT2 inhibitors show, that treating early can make a profound impact on the future risk of CKD. Okay. Well, thank you for your comments, and I really appreciate you joining us in, at the KSN 2025. Well, thank you, and enjoy the rest of the Congress. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Okay.